Previously a Persona 4 Golden. I wanna make you smile! Oh, oh my god, you're just like, oh, you're giving me diabetes. I love you so much. And now back to Japanese high school. About this. I memorized this formula, but what exactly does it mean in real life? I can explain the problem to him in an easily understood manner. Hey, my expression agrees. These questions can be used in a bunch of different situations, huh? The people who came up with them were geniuses. I wish I was a genius. Ricard, you can be. You already want. Uh, you already are one. Just give up now. You already are. Huh? One. <laughs> no, I'm not. If I was a genius, then I wouldn't be. She shrugs. <laughs> Sorry, I've been tired all day today. Can you finish the rest of the lesson this lesson next time? She looks pale. Mister! Let's get step back to something else. What's up? Uh, the other day at school, the other day on TV, I saw what I'm liking a girl is. <laughs> what I'm liking a girl is? Let me tell you about this girl. She'll show you about the kind, different kind of girls. You know, being pretty frank about it. <laughs> hey, my guardian grace. All right. <sighs> yeah, that was a bit surprising. <laughs> Which I mean, really surprising, actually. You're dating eight girls? I know, isn't that awesome? <laughs> You're a fucking pimp, man. I know! Maybe one day I'll teach you my amazing technique. My technique is to never talk about yourself, just listen to everybody else, and stand there and never say anything ever. <laughs> and watch as the little musical notes fly above their head. I'm sorry, it looks like we're already out of time. Thank you very much. Thanks for talking with me today. I think I was able to relax a little. I'd like to hear some more later. Your thing, doodle. Uh, level seven, I think. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And goodbye. Goodbye. Please come back again. Finish your tutoring job and got the crap out of there. You finished your stupid lesson with him. Lou, 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 lou. Hey, y'all. It's me, Mr. Mr. Garrison. And with you and Mr. Hand. Hey, right, how's it going, bitches? Japanese calendar had different names for the months. September was Nag Nagatsuki and October was Kanazuki. Well, it feels like all the guys have gone away and left us since the last month. Fog is just nasty, isn't it? It's like being wrapped in the gauze like an Egyptian mummy or something. Of course, it, of course, if my house was as nice as one of the ancient pyramids, I probably wouldn't complain about it so much. Mummies are already dead, so they don't have anything to worry about. You have a test coming up. <laughs> Sucks for you! Uh -huh. That's right, Mr. Hand. If you fail la the last exams, you don't you have any more cause for concern. I want to see you hot in these halls. <laughs> well then, nigga child, I got a question for you. Ah, oh, fuck. What? There are over 130 pyramids in Egypt. Which do you know who's buried in the biggest one? Uh, Cleopatra, Khufu, Giza, Tutu. Let me get this one. Ah, oh, fuck. Where'd you hear that? <laughs> Gary Pyramid is the tomb of the Pharaoh Khufu, also known as Cheops. Khufu, okay. It took over 20 years to build the tallest man made structure in the world for over four millennia. I'll put that on next week's test. Uh, no, best study, I'll fuck fail your ass. You gave the incorrect answer, but you don't care. Oh. Do -do, who's it this time? Do -do, do -do, do -do. Yes, finally! Um. Senpai? Is he after school today? Fuck no, I'm not. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's a promise. Um, can I come to your house? I know that. I know what that sounds like. Mercy is coming to your house. You're damn right it is. Hold on, I gotta go buy a bag full of condoms. Oh my god, I'm ready. My body's ready for you, Reese. Lulu. I know the fog is killing everybody, but I thought it'd be a good time to make babies together. You're absolutely right, it is. Your room with Reese, we are about to get naked. It's gonna be amazing. But Reese here at her request. Uh, um, I am currently in Senpai's room. No. Uh. Seems quite clean for a boy of his age. <laughs> um. It's strange seeing her sort of nervous like that. I didn't I didn't think she would be that nervous, but there doesn't seem to be anything lying around that he wouldn't want me to see. <laughs> now then, where could the goods in question be hiding? <laughs> I'll ask the man himself. So where do you hide them? <laughs> what do you mean? You wanna see? <laughs> <laughs>
I don't have any. Uh, <laughs> you want to see? <laughs> huh? Oh. <laughs> I, I don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it, it's not that I wanted to know. I, I just got kind of embarrassed. So, you meanie. <laughs> Senpai, you're leaving in the spring, right? I've made up my mind about something. You see, I'm thinking of going back into showbiz this spring. Oh, hey, cool. I am Rizad, after all. And when I consider it that way, I think I can have more fun working. I know how hard it is for a star to make a comeback after an entire year's absence. But even then, I want to start over from the beginning. Do you remember the fan who gave me that letter? I'll do it for her. For my old manager, Inoue-san. You fuck that guy, I don't do it for him. He has a piece of shit, I hope he dies. For my family, everyone, you, and for myself. These eyes are shining. Yay. Senpai, this... I want you to have it, Senpai. Contains signed photo. Ooh, sweet. Oh shit, it's a naked picture too, yes. It's the one we took at school. I look really normal, don't I? But even then, I signed it Reset. A Reset without a fake smile. This shit will be worth money. No, I'm <laughs> I won't make the same mistake. There's no such thing as a me who isn't me. So I won't run away. I won't try to be someone I'm not. There's a lot of Reset's inside me. I won't try to change them. Instead, I'll let people know that those Rises exist. That's the me I want to be. <laughs> Alright. Well, what the hell? <laughs> Superpowers are coming! There's a strong will that allowed her to accept and overcome her weaknesses and awaken her heart's true power. Behold! Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Actually, looks more like her shadow did a bit. The stripes and stuff. Oh my god, it's like a high. <laughs> Damn it. Her new, her new persona can get her get her Netflix forever. Free Netflix. Rizzi's persona has been reborn. Gosh, she got satellite dishes popping out of every orifice now. Moko is transformed into Kanzion. This means my powers have changed? I see. I've become a little stronger. Thanks to you being with me. Oh. <sighs> Um, Senpai, as long as you're watching me, I'll do my best. So, um, well, I'm happy doing anything if you're there with me. Well, <laughs> oh, come on. I've confessed my love hundreds of times on TV. Uh. Why can't I do it in person? <sighs> nah. We say her face red is at loss of her words. No. Um. I'm sure I can hang in there as long as you're watching me. Because. Um. Oh. You're special to me. This is Risei's unconditional love. Feel that bomb between you and Risei. See, I think it's a better. Th you're special to me instead of saying, I love you. I, I don't know. I that seemed like it made more sense in like some of those other situations where you're like, I love you. <laughs> I don't know. Just my opinion, but... Oh, behold, lover's arcana! I can make Ishtar! The ultimate form of the lover's arcana. Oh, yeah, baby, give me that, give me that sprinkles. Oh, that's the oh, that's the spot. Hmm. Master Risa Kuchikawa Link! I found bond that can never be broken! And you are Ishtar, the goddess of love. She is now fully determined. She will help you. She will help you up when you are hit by a mortal blow. Oh, that's awesome! We should revive you from a mortal blow once per battle. That's awesome. No matter what I'm doing, I am me. I can say that for sure now. And the strength to say so. It was you who found it for me. I'm going to like the me you found. After all, I like the you who found her. No. Senpai. I love you. I love you too, Risa. Oh, somebody finally fucking hugs me. I love you. 
Oh. Somebody fi I, seriously, if you notice, they're like, it's always like me hugging them. They never hug me back. There we go. That's right. <sighs> Senpai, keep watching me so I won't mess up again. Look at me. <sighs> oh. Um, well, I, I've never gone through this kind of thing, so, um, if we were on a TV set, this would be a wrap. <laughs> oh. So, uh. What am I supposed to do after this? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll teach you some things. <laughs> Passed a long while with Rise. It's many, many babies were made. It was amazing. You spent at least eight hours with Rise. <laughs> it was awesome. Thank God you bought that bag full of condoms. Condoms? Do, 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 do. All right, so the only one I have left, uh is uh kanji from my party yeah Woo. hey yane oh senpai good evening my is starting to get cold out i'm on my way home right now i see books for the library and i didn't know it's the time do you have time senpai it might be nice if we could um sure thing yes yes thank you yeah he seems happy yay <laughs> I saw your cross dressing contest. You were really beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, Ian. You're not supposed to see that. Oh, it's strange to call a man beautiful, isn't it? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's okay. But you look so good with your makeup. I'm jealous. Oh, uh, Ian, you are the most adorable thing ever. You have nothing to worry about. I look good with makeup. I wish I had looked more mature like you. <laughs> we'll get used to it. Just practice. You're fine just the way you are. Huh? What? No, I'm. Thank you very much. I feel much more confident now. Oh, I know you're smiling happily. God dang it, Yana, you're so freaking awesome. I'm surprised it's Asumi. It's Asumi because it's cross searching. It sure was intense. <laughs> I know, right? If you were a musical beast, it wouldn't have an intro. It would just begin suddenly and afford it fortissimo. No, I get to know each other. Yay, good. Oh. The time we've been talking for such a long time. I'll be home pretty soon. Uh, yes, here, senpai. Th this is my <laughs> cream and pan on pan. Ooh, God, I'm getting all these things. I don't even know what they are. What do I do? I eat this? <laughs> we did it when you're feeling tired after the club practice. We always spend time together today. I'm just happy we can talk. Oh, I love you too, you guys. You're so awesome. Good night. Oh. Saturday's the day when I don't know. Loo, 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 walking along, loo, loo, loo. We're just doing talking. Do we think that more and more people getting weird because of the fog? I see, I even see people wearing this huge gas mask around town. Yeah, and people are getting sick too. I've been seeing a lot of, I've been, haven't there been a, people saying a lot of weird stuff lately? The world is ending and the global warming is coming because of original sin and any shit like that. Hey, what do you think is going to happen if you think someone's sick but you don't do anything about it? I mean, to be honest, yesterday my dad... We are all gonna die. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. Burr, 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 burr. Good morning, what's up, you guys? You look good, okay. He's got some stunning for tests around the corner. I hope you're not forgetting something. Of course, this is coming up in a month. Have you found your dates yet? I got like 18 to choose from. I've got a million just two dates. Uh, I've got mine already. Tell you what, I'll give you guys a Christmas question. All right, uh, a question regarding cakes. B. Oh, fuck. Which one of these considered a rice cake? <laughs> oh, a mochi. Excellent. What is the type of rice cake? If you think of cake, you think dessert, but something pounded together is called a cake. That's what that's the case with Moki is it's rice pounded together. It's another case. Example Kamaboko is a fish cake. Fish meat pounded together. Mmm, doesn't that sound delicious? Not really. However, you probably don't want to eat eating fish cakes on Christmas time. Oh, no, no, no. So we get the correct answer. I am brilliant. Oh, here we go. You're flesh. Yeah, let's do it. Sorry. Hey, why didn't you come see me, dude? Yeah. Sweet! Yes! I am so fucking excited! Overlooking town. Found you probably here, saying he wanted to talk someplace quiet. Fog has developed the area. The other day, I went to visit Dad's grave. 
First time I went on my own. Uh, I had a lot to tell him. He hasn't really talked to Spaz Dad very much, has he? I mean, he said that he died, he died in a hospital or whatever. Uh, tell him. How was it? How was it? Uh, well, I felt like I could finally face him. A little late, though. Why are you smiling sadly? Dad told me something right before he died. If you're a man, you have to become strong. Felt like he was telling me I wasn't a real man. Pissed me off. So I changed my looks and pushed myself away from people. Fighting gangs, thinking I was protecting mom, trying to catch this killer. I thought all that was how I was becoming strong. That I was really making up for all the trouble I caused. I was drunk off my power. But that wasn't it. That ain't what dad meant. I still don't really get what being strong means, but I'm going to start by not lying to myself. No more being scared of everyone, hiding my hobbies, staying away from people. Anytime, any place, I'm going to bust right through as my own self. Hell yeah, Gandhi. That's the way to deal with that other me in the TV world. As long as there's someone like that snot-nosed kid to accept me, I ain't afraid of nothing. For you, man. Sir, it's all thanks to you. <laughs> Kanji's smiling gently. Kanji's sperm resolve. Delicious grungy. Hell yeah. Almost. I've almost switched all my partner members. Woo! Termination Bell's been enhanced. Now, he can now die for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to put those dolls of mine up for sale at the shop. They were a big hit with that kid and his mom. They called me just to say thank you. <laughs> uh, I got a kick out of that. <laughs> oh, I got to go buy supplies. I need a jet. Carl Kanji won. Hack works too today. Blah, 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 blah. Good. Good. Now let's wait for shit to happen. Alright. Do, do, do. I'm dead by some shit on TV, Lulu. Alright, today we got some... Protect your loved ones for a low price of only 29 What? What? What the fuck was that? Oh, protect your loved ones from the fog, I see. Oh, man. That little bastard, he shit me. I don't give a fuck about the fog, I'm fine with the fog. Oh yeah, here's a dog again. Still aware of you. Uh, here. I don't have any food. Okay, wait, let me give you. Here, I have another grilled steak croquette. There you go, you little bastard. Arf, arf. Some of are ate what you gave without paying you any mind. Arf. Oh, now he loves me. The dog ran off. It seems to no be wary of you. Strike him back another day. God dang it, stupid dog. Stupid little bastard. Hi hey there. Hi. Hi, Nico John. I'm happy to see you. Smile, smile gently. All right, let's do it. Yes. I'd be happy to. I was lying to you. Huh? I'm not really death. Well, duh, doodle. I think I figured that out. I did wish that he would die, and so he died for me. That's what I wanted to think. I thought maybe that he that would be proof that he still loved me. I didn't want to accept that he had died all by himself, not remembering me and leaving me behind. I understand the feeling. <laughs> uh, do you have someone who you hold dear yourself? So I smiles gently. But the truth is, I don't have any special powers like that. I am not death. Just another boring human being. Well, he's still gonna be the Death Arcana, so that's that's something. Waiting for a miracle that never came. Before I knew it, 
I was wishing death on the one person I loved most in the world. I was lonely, forgotten. No. Oh. She's just she's been wearing that dark stuff all the time now. Jeez. I want to switch to some brighter clothes. It might help you feel a little better. And loving, being loved, all that is what goes into making us human. Even if you did forget me in the end, the lives we spend together were proof of our dedication to each other. His love for me was never a lie. All those letters are proof. I just didn't get it. <laughs> but it's too late now, isn't it? Yes, sir. What is it? Perhaps you're right. I think I'll try living as the Hasano he loved once more. Oh, smiles gently. Spark has returned to Hasano's eyes. It seems you were able to give Hasano some support. Well, almost finished with you, too. The man I loved is gone. I can't ignore that fact any longer. I need to face the truth head on. I want to see you again. What does Sano win? Oh. It's okay, old lady. Alright. Come on, baby. Let's get that diligence going. Second term finals begin today and continue to the weekend. Ah, fuck. I should hurry do this shit. Damn it all. Stupid fucking finals. Yo! Yo, Nico. What's up, Yosuke? Look at this weather, man. What's up with this? It's really weird. Have you ever heard of anything like this before? Oh, well, yeah, finals start today. That's seriously not the point. What's gonna happen? I'm worried too. Most of about the following being harmful to people is just a rumor, but people are getting sick. Even besides that, that, there have been a lot of weird rumors being spread around, too. Damn, I don't like how any of this feels. I am here I am to ruin the moment again! <laughs> I become the comic relief character! That was day one. Which French fruit stem from? Uh. Uh, it was Italian food, I think. Here in Fierce Gang, Geometric Shapes! Do 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 Hey y'all, it's me, Mr. Hey. Biggest Pyramid was for Khufu. Khufu. Biggest map is called Atlas. This shit is easy. Oh yeah, boo doo 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 doo. Oh, here students talking. Ugh. So we can keep the club going like this. Too many of our members are calling in sick. When is this damn fog gonna clear up? But sim, but sim, but student, the the people who are just slacking off aren't showing up either, right? You can keep the club with the members you're left with. Maybe the fog helped you find out who's the most dedicated to banging in the club. Huh? <laughs> I was only looking, I guess. Ah! <laughs> I'm not in a club. I don't need to. I don't need to be in athletics. I can already run for fucking eight miles every day. <laughs> Finals day three. Where's Bridal? Is his roots from Bridal? I know. God, what are the odds? That was a hard one to figure out. Gunkadori, that's the cuckoo bird. Gunka ding dong doodly. Do, 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 do. Hey, how's it going, everyone? It's me, Sean Connery. Which country does South Wales belong to? No country. I'm not getting that wrong again. No man's land. One, two, three is a Fibonacci sequence. Fibonacci. He did a thing with a sequence and 
Loo, 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 poisonous fog. We're all gonna die. Loo, loo, loo. Oh, hey, how's it going? Your student's talking. Did you hear what they said about having on the Midnight Channel? Someone said they turned it on and there was a picture of this town and the complete ruins. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Maybe I should start watching the Midnight Channel a little more. All my friend says she saw Annabelle get swallowed by the fog and sent to another, some other dimension. So there were monsters coming out of the fog, too, like in that story. Oh, fucking hell. You know, sir, since this fog started? Seems that people can see the midnight chill even when it's not raining. Could be, is our town getting more and more messed up? We're all gonna fucking die! And then I casually walk away like nothing happened. I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> I don't care. Finals day five. This is the Wicked Wally Woolly found it. Nabib. Nabib. Me, bib. Just consider a rice cake. A moki. A moki. Doo doo doo. I've never had a Mookie before, but they actually look pretty good. I want to try one one day. Mmm, ricey. Oh, God. Man, this fog just won't quit. The weather report said it might start snowing soon. But what's going to happen if it snows with all this fog? Whoa! Where'd you guys come from? Ah! <laughs> wow, that's quite a crowd you got there. We ran into each other back there, so we came together. The fog's so thick that sometimes you can't see your nose in front of your face, so everyone's forming groups now. Yeah. It's definitely been weird lately. It's so cold, too. I think death is coming. Death is coming for us all. Oh, hey, it's December, I just realized. Visibility's so bad, it's scary. Can I stick close to you, senpai? Damn right. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> <sighs> This girl never changes. <laughs> All the girls just just huddle around me. I just walk out. I, I leave Kanji and Yosuke. <laughs> so uh, you wanna you wanna huddle together? <laughs> Yosuke's like, don't touch me. <laughs> I'm like, ah, yes. <laughs> Ladies are mine. They're all mine. It really is hard to see anything in this, though. It's just like on the other side. Oh. G guys, put on your glasses. Oh, it is like the other side. Oh my god. Oh no, shadows are gonna start coming too here, aren't they? And now it's fucking clear. When you put on your glasses, your vision becomes much clearer. That's not good. Whoa, it's all clear. Oh, what the hell's going on? Is it like seeping out of the TV now? These glasses are meant to help us see through the fog in the other world. But putting that aside, no glasses would improve one's visibility in a fog under normal circumstances. Then, um, could the fog from over there be leaking into our world? Man, we gotta, we all gotta, we gotta destroy every TV in this town. Huh? Well, you, you guys think that's it? I was kind of expecting you to ignore it as Chie being random again. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just a thought. <laughs> Uh-oh. What is happening? Why is this happening right now? The mood darkens. Anyways, today's the last day of exams, right? Seriously, what the fuck is going on? Why Why is all this shit happening all of a sudden? Because we got rid of Namatame? Was him being in the TV? Did it fuck everything up? Let's get him over with so we can meet up at the special headquarters after school. <laughs> wow. We haven't used that name in a while. Alright, time to breeze through this shit. Last two exams. Yes, sir. Question with ease. God, they're flowing from my hands. Oh, my lord. Oh, the answers are just coming out of me. Oh. You flooded all over the test. There will be a magic churn. Wait, there will be dramatic churns in the story from this point. Strong make that you take this opportunity to save. Oh, okay. Okay, whoa. Oh, that scares me. Okay, I'm gonna put you up here then when you're safe. Oh. Dramatic turns in the story. Oh shit. This shit's about to go down, apparently. Ah. I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't want don't kill me, please. Hey, here's a story about the fog. Um 
Some specialists are raising concerns that this fog may consist of harmful substances. E. More and more citizens are calling for an investigation into the cause of the fog and the facts about it. Though the government has begun its preliminary investigation, many feel that the causes will be hard to pinpoint. Oh, is this fog really dangerous? You hardly ever see people walking around town anymore. Or here, either. Everyone's too scared of the fog now to go outdoors much. It does seem a lot like the fog on the other side. But beyond that, I'm clueless. There's another item of note here. A summary of Namatame's career with details about the case. The suspect was having an affair with the first victim. It seems she was killed due to relationship troubles. Also in April, Miss Saki Konishi's body was discovered. The police are looking into a motive for the murder. In July, a boy living in Inaba performed a copycat murder. The boy was initially thought to be the culprit behind all the killings, but later, suspicion was thrown upon Namatame. Yeah, <laughs> after we fucking caught him. Last month, the suspect attempted to kidnap a seven-year-old girl of Inaba, resulting in his arrest. It seems Namatame is still confined to his hospital bed, so further interrogation has yet to commence. So it's finally over. A lot of stuff's happened. Yeah, I don't know about that, Yosuke. You really think it's over when the fucking fog is destroying the city? <laughs> I'm, I'm expecting fucking shadows to start popping out of the ground now. But all that's left is for the police to build a case for Namatame, right? Something like, then fucking Tartarus emerges from the ground. I'm like, ah, oh, god damn it, not this shit again. Our work here is done. Can he prove anything? I'm sure your uncle can. <laughs> See, if I stick my face in the TV, I still think we should have just been doing that since the beginning of this game. But the stuff he was saying was so obviously nuts. If he says anything about the TV world, he might be considered mentally unstable. He's already pretty mentally unstable, so that's just gonna make him seem even crazier. Also, I heard before that if the police don't have enough hard evidence, it's difficult to build a case. Yes, there are many such cases and culprits. It's the eternal conundrum for crime investigators. So even if they're caught, the law can't do shit? I, I fought the law in the... Law lost. I thought the law and the law lost. It's a possibility. Hell's up with that! We all know he did it. You can't just let a maniac who thinks he's saving people by killing them run wild on the streets. Let's go beat his you ass. better not dismiss something this serious because of some mental issues. Saki Senpai. No, not just her, or that announcer. Even King Moron is his fault. If it weren't for what he did, nobody would have tried a copycat killing. I don't know. Mitsu was kind of unstable to begin with. I think he probably would have killed somebody. It's his fault Nanako-chan's in the hospital right now, too. Just gonna beat his ass. You're reminded that you made a promise with Nanako to buy a new Kotatsu. Let's go buy one. What's the matter? Tell me about your not promise with Nanako. A Kotatsu? Yeah, we're gonna go. Let's go buy her the best fucking Kotatsu ever. It's gonna be like eight miles long. <laughs> it can keep the whole the whole town nice and nice and toasty. Oh, then why don't we go check them out right now? I know Nanako-chan would be psyched if she came home and found a new Kotatsu. Dude, why didn't you tell me sooner? The winter season's coming up, and we just got a bunch of them in stock. And there's literally nobody at Junez anymore. Seriously, look at this place. It's fucking dead. All right. Off to the housewares section for Nanako-chan! Whee! Yes. To Walmart. <laughs> Two amazing deals. If we're getting a Kotatsu, we better get some oranges to complete the set. Teddy, what are you doing? He looks like he's sad over there. It's a cliche because it's true, damn it. It's right. The best compliment to a Kotatsu would be a heated rug. Dude, that much juice would kill the breaker the moment you tried to microwave something. <laughs> the whole house just explodes. Oh yeah, you've never used a Kotatsu before, huh, Ted? It's nice and toasty. Can I still stay here? 
You kept your promise to me, so I should be going back. But I don't want to go until Nana-chan gets better. Dude, you're one of the bros now. Come on, look at you. You're fucking, you're literally human anyway now. Even if you are full of magic fairy dust, rainbows, and unicorns, or whatever the hell's in there. Of course you can stay. How many times do we have to say this before it gets through to you? I still want to figure out, I want to see the conversation Yosuke had with his parents about convincing Yosuke to stay. his day. Yosuke's dad is just like, whatever, I don't care. Nanako-chan would be sad if you weren't there when she wakes up. But I couldn't save Nana-chan. Don't be silly. We saved her together. We caught the killer, man. We couldn't have done that without you. I know you and your silly bear puns. They saved the day. Teddy, you shouldn't talk that way when Nanako-chan is still fighting. You guys. <laughs> you can stay here. Hey, come over to my place. <laughs> <laughs> can, can I really? Sure. That's right. You're just by yourself at home now, huh? I'm so lonely. Hey, why don't we pick out a Christmas present for Nanako-chan while we're at it? Hell yeah. I'm gonna buy her a panda, just like her favorite show. Oh, that's a great idea. I'm sure she'll be out of the hospital by then. And we can all dress up like the Featherman, her other favorite show. Body moving feather man. All right, but none of this charge it to Yosuke stuff this time. Seriously, we're clear on this, right? Uh, oh, Yosuke, you're so silly. Of course we're going to. Oh, come on. Why would we do something like that? Dude, the clothes you got for this guy? I almost pissed my pants when I saw the receipt. <laughs> How many days do you think I had to work to pay that off? Well, I can't help it if Juness overcharges for things. Do I, like, keep all the money to myself? I got a million yen. <laughs> yeah, Yosuke. But I'm not sharing, because I'm greedy. <laughs> Apparently, I just don't share any of my vast amount of wealth. <laughs> Fuck everybody. Ugh. Well, I guess you gotta expect that. It's not like Chia-san's ever had the occasion to help a guy shop before. Oh! What? What did you just say? Come on, baby. Don't fight over me. <laughs> God damn it, Teddy. Stay out of this! <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave them be and think of a present for Nanako-chan on our own. I still say panda. But what would a girl her age want? What do you think Nanako-chan would appreciate most? A video game, a Jack Frost doll, a reset doll? Uh... Not a video game. A reset doll? I mean, she probably would like have a reset with her all the time. But she has the real ones, so I don't know. It, probably this or this. Maybe have reset with her or something. <laughs> a reset doll, that sounds good. That's not really for kids. Oh. <laughs> eh, it's still pretty cute. Just like the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as soon as Nanako-chan's out of the hospital, we'll have a party at your place. Yeah! Oh man, we need so fucked up. Yes! And we'll bake the cake! No! Of course! Let's make it a cake to remember. Oh my god, you are going to murder every one of us. Oh no, you're not! Are you trying to send Nanako-chan back to the hospital? It... It... It was purple! Don't you remember? It melted through my table! I had to get a new one because of that! Ah, what's up? It's Adachi. Hello, this is Adachi. Um, I want you to stay calm and listen to me, okay? Oh my god, I swear to god, if you say Namatame escaped from prison, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Nanako-chan's condition suddenly got worse. No, it's even worse! I'm gonna still kill you! The doctor wants you to come to the hospital immediately. We'll be waiting. Oh my god. No. No! Come on, let's go! Don't you fucking do this to me, game. Don't you do it. Don't you do it! Don't you shatter my fucking soul in a... I'm in a municipal hospital in Akko's room. Did you miss listening to an explanation from the doctor? There have been loud voices throughout the hospital for some time now. Doctor! This fog is poisonous, isn't it? Isn't it filled with viruses? 
the hell? They said so on TV. Isn't there a vaccine or something for it? Calm down, please. That's just a rumor. Chill the fuck out. God damn. Somebody get this lady a sedative. Don't tell I've me got to one. calm <laughs> down. You're lying. We know you have medicine for this. Are you just going to stand there and watch us die? Why would we do something like that? <laughs> well, with that tone, I get... Uh, maybe. <laughs> what a commotion. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Can't you see how much pain she's in? All we can do right now is monitor her condition closely. <laughs> Dojima-san, you need to return to your... I don't give a damn about myself. Do something about Nanako. <sighs> God damn, dude. You're gonna blow your stitches. Dojima-san! Just save her. For God's sake, please save Nanako. We'll do our best. I must ask you to step outside for the time being. Nanako. Oh my god, Nanako. Don't die, Nanako. No. Where's the company to get back to his room? Hey, can't you do something? This all has to do with the world you came from. Can't you figure something out? That's right, Ted. You only have superpowers for this shit. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking, but... Damn it. What does this have to happen to a little girl like her? We all feel the same way. Why'd it turn out like this? Nanako-chan's gonna be okay, right? Fuck off, Adachi. You guys still here? Shit. Yeah, we're still here, stupid. How is Dojima-san doing? His wounds opened up again. They're treating it over in his room now. Ooh. Any luck with your investigation on Namatame? Um, about that. I won't mince words here. We're gonna have a hard time making these charges stick. Oh, fucking fuck. What's that mean? I talked with the guys at the station, and it'll be next to impossible to find him guilty in court. Especially given the reason why we took him off our list of suspects for the first case. Oh yeah, something about him having an alibi. Yeah, that. And the whole angle about him putting people into TVs, there's no way that'll stand up in court. Uh, if we fucking show them it probably would. No one would believe that. What the public wants is when, where, and how Namatame killed these people. And Dojima-san knows it. Well, ain't you calm about this? I'm just telling you the truth. Beat his ass, Kanji. Beat him. And you call yourself a cop? Huh? Yeah, get him. If you want to see that stuff so bad, we'll show you. Hurry up and bring a TV here, damn it! Hey, stop! Is Nanako-chan's family here? Hurry inside. Please talk to her. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? What the hell? What's going on? No. Nanako-chan... Daddy... Oh my goodness, no. Be here soon. I'll be here soon. <laughs> oh my god. Nanako chan. Nanako chan. Can you hear us? Do you understand what we're saying? Your big brother's here with you. Just hang in there. <laughs> oh my god. Don't you fucking goddamn Nanako, come on! Where's Dojima-san? We're calling for him right now. How's Nanako? Doctor.
Hit bro. Alright, go don't you don't you freaking don't even talk to me. Just just sit there and get there. Right here. Mm-mm. It's okay. Oh my god. Don't do it. Are you f Nanako? Oh my god. No. <gasps> Nanako. I'm sorry, sir. Nana Chihan. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? We did everything we could, but we still couldn't figure out what caused this. Oh my god. I don't want to play this game anymore now. That's just. Wow, game, really? to fucking crush my soul into a million pieces. Dojima-san, what's with that look? What's wrong, everyone? Hmm? Huh? Wait, is, is Nanako-chan... But then, where did Dojima-san go? His room isn't that way. God damn it, Dodge. You're fucking so stupid. Wait a sec. That's the way to... Is he going to the roof or something? Oh, god damn it. Oh no, is he gonna go... Senpai! Senpai! Oh, Namatame's room? Oh my god. Fuck. Hey, let's go help him. Let's go help that little fucker. Let's go help kill that little fucker. You transported into the same hospital? For crying out loud, he's the suspect in the case! What are you getting mad at me for? This is the biggest hospital, and he's in no condition to be moved. Why didn't he... Why didn't you say anything? Where's his room? Where is his room? I can't tell you that. You fucking idiot. He's gonna go murder his ass. Just tell us where he is already. Dojima's son's on his way, ain't he? You don't know what he's gonna do there if we don't stop him. Kanji-kun, you don't mean... Uh, hold on. Just what are you guys talking about? Cough it up! Where's his room? <laughs> Top floor in the second surgical ward. Furthest room back. But there's a police guard. Meanwhile, Monica's hospital room. I... I was always watching over Nana-chan, and I still couldn't save her. It happened in my world. Even though I was the only teddy in that place, I... I still couldn't do anything. I... <laughs> Let go of me. I need to speak to him. 
like we said, without permission. God damn it. I'm just so fucking... I'm like crushed by this. I just, I just can't even... Why would you do that to me, game, huh? Why would you make the Grace fucking character and then kill her off in the end? Seriously. Why would you fucking do that? Permission? Who gave them permission to kill Nanako? Tell me that, huh? The hell with you all! Why is he still alive when Nanako's dead? Give me back Nanako! Give her back! She's... She's all I have! She's... I, the only one in the world. Call a doctor! Let go of me. I need to... Holy crap! Dojima-san! Quick, get him to his room. I'll go alert the doctors. Son, was he seriously gonna? <sighs> I'm fucking, I wouldn't fucking blame him. I would fucking murder the shit out of that dude. His only daughter's dead. Nothing would have surprised me. Dojima san probably knew that there's little to no chance Namatame would be convicted. Damn it. He killed Senpai, and now Nanako chan. And the bastard's gonna walk away without paying for what he did. That's not right. <laughs> Why? Why is he the one that gets to go on living? <sighs> the window in the room is wide open. What are you doing? I... I was scared, so... I... I... You're trying to get away? What is he doing? You have your life, and now you want your freedom, too?! It's your fault that Nanako chance I... I didn't... I... What the fuck? Twelve o'clock. Is it the midnight channel? What? Hey, isn't this? I failed to save her. It's, it's because, because you got, got in my way. way. What the fuck is going on? Another Namatame? How? The real one's right here and we already beat his shadow. No. Come to think of it, Namatame never faced his other self. And we didn't witness his shadow returning to his body as a persona, either. Perhaps that's why we're seeing this now. So... Wait, what? So, what we fought before was just him? And not his shadow or something? Why was his eyes... Why were his eyes all yellow then? What the... What the hell's going on? I failed. But it wasn't my fault. And the law can't touch me anyway. What? Is that what Namatami's really thinking? What? He seems fucking confused, though, doesn't he? Then... He wasn't deranged or anything. He knew what he was doing. To hell with the law! I will never forgive what you did! He seems confused, though, doesn't he? Like, he doesn't understand what... It's like he's over here giggling to himself. This... Please! Stop! Huh? Stop what? We ain't even done anything yet. Or do you want us to do something? Something fitting for a bastard like you! K kanji <sighs> Do whatever you want. You hate me because the child died, don't you? I don't care either way. Living or dying makes no difference to me. 
Someone's not right here, though. It feels like he's just egging us on. Like, he wants us to just kill him. But he seems so confused. But you... You're different. <laughs> you can't do such a thing. You wouldn't dare, right? <laughs> I'll continue saving people. It's my mission. Mission? So what I'll keep... But I... I don't know, it just sounds like he's egging us on, you know? It just seems like he's... He wants us to kill him, but like... I don't know, I'm not convinced that was him. I, 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 he just he seems confused right now. It doesn't seem like that's... Right? I, I don't know. My God. Please, stop. He wants us to stop. What should we do? What do you mean? We can't let this bastard do whatever he pleases. Still, what are you going to do? No way I'm gonna walk out of here doing nothing. I... I understand, but... God, the thing about killing him? Put, like, what, throwing him out the window or something? This must be a luxury suite. Most hospital wards don't have such large televisions. Oh, what, throw him in the TV? Why, with something like this in the room, this man could escape at any time. Oh. Although once he enters, he may find there's no way out. Wait a second. You don't mean... Are you... serious? Shit, Nato. Even she's thinking about killing him. You just gonna turn your back and walk away? That's... but... What? What's gotten into you guys? This is crazy! How can we do something like that? Chie! Everyone, listen to me. If we're gonna do this, now is our only shot. We won't get a second chance. At this rate, the guy's gonna get off the hook, and he'll go around saving people again. You just heard what this bastard's really thinking. If that happens, it'll be just like Nanako-chan and Senpai. Who knows how many innocent people will die this time? I can't let something like that go. Someone close to me died. Her killer can't be convicted. And now I'm gonna let the same thing happen again? There's no way I can do that! It's just wrong, isn't it? But... but... Yosuke... All we have to do is push him inside the TV. That's it. We do that one thing, and this is all over. Jesus. I don't know. I, no, before, I would have been like, fuck yeah, let's just fucking murder this guy. But I'm just, it, I'm not convinced that that thing on TV was him. It just because he seemed like he was egging us on, you know? And this guy in front of us seems so fucking confused, like, you know, like, I don't know, Some, someone just seems fucking off about this, I, J just p push him inside? If any of you want no part in this, just leave the room, I'm not gonna force you to stay. As for me, nothing can make me forgive this bastard. Before we do this, I want to hear what you think. What do you want to do, leader? Push the bastard in. I can't stay here. Wait a second here. I, I mean, I fucking hate this piece of shit, but like, something seems just off. It doesn't seem right, like, I mean, I was, I don't know, I mean, no matter how much we hate this guy, I feel like we just can't just fucking kill him either, but, I, I mean, if we leave him alive, he's gonna go out and start still killing people? You know, like, he seems different, though, than he was uh, before, you know, he just, he seems baffled, like, is it the same guy? Is it somebody totally different? Is it someone pretending to be him? I'm, 
I'm so confused. It just doesn't... Like, the one we're seeing on TV look like the one we, we saw before. But this guy just seems like... I don't know. It just... Uh, I don't know. I don't, but we saw him earlier when he was writing in that notebook. And he was... Right, so... I don't know. But if we leave him alive, I mean... He's gonna keep... Is he really... Is he just gonna go and kill people some more? Like... I mean, fuck this guy, but... Push the bastard in. I can't stay here. Wait a second. I don't know. Can we... Wait a second. We... we don't have time to wait. If we don't do this now, the cops will come back. What are you trying to say? We're missing something. Leave him for the police. This won't change anything. We're missing something. I, I, that's what I feel like, too. I feel like we are missing something. Something we don't know. What don't we know? Whether he'll kill again. Whether revenge is right. Whether he can be t tried. Namatame's true feelings. Whether he'll kill again. Whether revenge is right, whether he can be tried. Namatame's true. Namatame's true feelings, maybe? I don't. Yeah. I... But we just heard the guy's true feelings on TV! What didn't you understand? Why he's scared. We can still repent. Actually, don't know. Something's bothering me. See that? I mean, it's, he's scared we're gonna kill him, probably, right? That's what he'll probably say, but I don't think that's the real reason. He can still repent. No, I, this thing's bothering me. Well, what is it? I already told you there's no time to waste. Are you even getting at something here, or are you just stalling? I got nothing. He could escape via the TV. We're missing. What the hell? Am I just I'm just going in fucking circles. I. Is that what I'm... Am I stalling for time? Is that what I'm doing? Getting here before we do anything? I, I don't think killing him is a good idea. I, something is just wrong about this. I'm missing something. Missing? Like what exactly? Damn it! I've heard enough of this bullshit! Give me a straight answer! Are we doing this or not? That's all I give a damn about right now! I can't do it. I'm sorry. Calm the hell down. Calm the hell down, dude. You yelled at ev everyone to calm down. He's right. Let's all calm down for a second. I'm perfectly calm. Dude, you were ready to fucking... You're gonna pop a blood vessel, man. It's just... Something's fucking not right about this shit. Hey, what did you mean by we're missing something? What's there to miss with a sick bastard like him? Hey, let's all take a deep breath. After what happened to Nanako-chan and seeing Dojima-san, we're not thinking straight right now. Fine. Took a deep breath. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, it. It seems like the right thing to do, though. I mean, it's, it's. I, there is something we're fucking missing. It's just it. It isn't just black and white like this. I, I don't think. Simmers finally regained their composure. You're right. We should calm down and think rationally about this. I realize now that we've heard almost nothing from Namatame's perspective. There's no denying that this man brought great harm to Nanako-chan. But other than that point, the rest comes from our assumptions based on watching the Midnight Channel a moment ago. 
Yeah. I won't deny that we were blinded by the heat of the moment, trying to impute all responsibility to him rashly. But... Yeah, the guy's not saying anything. Whatever reason he had, there's no doubt about the fact that he'd been throwing people inside the TV. That's what I'm thinking, is, it, is like, the thing on TV wasn't really him or his true feelings. Like, that's just... It was him who put Senpai through that misery. How can we possibly understand someone who says killing people is the same as saving them? Is someone, like, framing him? I don't... but I don't know how that could possibly be. Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. Truthfully, not all the hitches that were nagging at me have been answered yet. We'll have to see what he can tell us about them. Though it appears he's in no condition to do so at the moment. True. Dealing with him right now might not solve all the things that are bothering us. Damn it. But you better remember this. I'll do everything I can to stop him from repeating what he's done. Anytime, anywhere, anything. Dude, I want to get the guy who's fucking really responsible, but, like, I don't know if it is this guy. I would have been ready to throw him in the TV if he hadn't been fucking... If it wasn't... If he didn't look so confused and that shit had him shown up on TV, obviously egging us on. Let's just think for now. Jeez. How the hell can you stay so calm, man? Then again, that's why you're our leader. <sighs> All right. Let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. Okay. That's good. It, what, what would happen if I had thrown him in the TV? He didn't seem... If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. Yeah. That ain't gonna cut yeah. it. Yeah. Alright. I'm convinced. This seems like a better... <sighs> Thank you. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. We all know how you feel, Yosuke. <laughs> Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right. Right. Together. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. And thanks. The case is taking a sharp turn. The miscommunication team is one step closer to the truth. Seems that you will go on with your friends to solve another mystery. Oh. Oh, hey! I maxed out. I think I did. It seems like I dodged a bullet there. Like, that... That seemed like a... I think that's why it told me... He was about to take a drastic turn. Maybe that was, like, the moment of truth or something. Create Loki, the ultimate form of the full arcana. Ah, uh, glitter me. Glitter me. Glitter me good. It's from Loki, the shapeshifter. From Thor. Ooh. Oh, it's the Judgment Arcana. I knew it. That's what happened in the other game too. But towards the end, you start, you get the Judgment Arcana. Oh yeah, give me that Judgment. Oh, more glitter. This is this has got to be right then. Oh man, I bet that was it. Then if I threw him the TV, I probably would have fucking. It just it just seemed off to me, you know. It just didn't seem. I don't know. It, it didn't. It didn't seem. It seemed like he was egging me to do it, and I feel like if I'd done it, it would have been. He was like doing it for the purpose of making us regret it, you know. The seekers of truth. Okay. Hey, you guys, what are you doing? You can't be in here. Oh crap! Ah, oh, fuck! Into the TV, everyone. <laughs> we were keeping an eye on the suspect. The police officers outside seem to have their hands full helping Dojima-san. If Namatame were to escape, it would be a disaster for the police's reputation. And their trust in you, Adachi-san. Oh, nice move, Nata. Oh, I see. We'll tighten security from now on, and I'll arrange for him to be transported out as soon as possible. God, you guys are fucking stupid. Why would you put him in the same hospital? I, I... So, if you guys can keep quiet about being in here, I'd really appreciate it. Shut up, Adachi. How is he, Doctor? He seemed to be extremely agitated a moment ago. He seems fine for now, but 
He really needs his rest. Outside, everyone. Doctor's orders. Understood. We should go, too. Let's get back to Nanako-chan's room. I'm still just... I'm still just fucking... Shattered about Nanako. I mean... What the hell, man? What the fuck? So what's this thing we're missing, huh? To tell the truth, there's something that's bothering me, too. Why did he start killing people in the first place? Well, he said himself it was to save them, right? So he killed his lover in order to save her and kept going? The police speculated the first murder was related to the affair, so they called in Namatame for questioning. But everything in his testimony and his bearing, no matter what they looked at, they found nothing suspicious. Hmm. Did something happen then in this time? Like, someone is trying to frame him. Somebody fucked up his mind? I, I... If he truly is twisted enough to believe that murder is a means of saving people, I think that would have shown through. Yeah. I didn't think about that, though. I like that. No. Okay. Maybe he faked it real well. Or maybe he started out with a normal motive and got a taste for killing after the first time. No, if that were the case, his motive for killing that announcer would be even more inexplicable. Yeah. Namatame and his wife were separated at the time. Both Misuzu Hiragi and himself testified that she had discarded him. Hiragi also knew about Yamano beforehand, and Namatame was shocked to hear of Yamano's death. Their relationship was known and was not strained to the point of murder. There's simply no motive in the affair angle. The police invested a great deal of effort into investigating this point. Therefore, we have no convincing motive for Namatame to kill Mayumi Yamano. Although, her name was written in Namatame's own diary. His reason for killing her? It's still possible that he was crazy to begin with and no one realized, right? Uh... I don't really get any of this. <laughs> Oh, this is so confusing! Hey, we could hear you in there. This is a hospital. Maybe you should quiet down a little. <laughs> Stop! Stop it! Stop talking about your random... Your weird TV fantasies! Oh, there you are, all of you. Please come with me immediately. God damn it, don't tell me Dejima's dead too. I'm gonna fucking rip my computer out of its socket and throw it out my window. Huh? What's going on? What are you waiting for? Hurry, go! Shut up, Adachi. Don't tell me what to do. Oh no, Teddy, what are you doing? Where am I? Where are you? Yeah, where are you? What, what are you doing, Teddy? Is this Teddy's world? This doesn't quite feel like it, though. I remember being at the hospital. That's right, Nana-chan. I... I couldn't do anything. Why do I even exist? I couldn't keep my promise. I lost my reason to be there. <laughs> That's it. I remember now. So, it was true. Guys! Sensei! What should I do? What? What is happening? Oh no, Teddy, what's happening right now? Where are you? We can't stay in the world for too long? What's... Oh, there they are. Oh my god. Wait, is that Dojima or Nanako chan came around? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Really? 
Fuck you, game. Fuck you. God damn it. Oh, you fucking bastard. God damn it. Oh. God damn it. This game fucking destroyed me. No, you god damn it. Fuck you. Fuck you, Persona 4 Golden. Nah, <laughs> broke ya. Nah. <laughs> For all, all the ones who didn't kill themselves after seeing that scene. <laughs> Don't worry, she's still alive, huh? And only... <laughs> I'd say after 18 suicides, we're... <laughs> that was a very successful joke. Fuck you! Oh, god damn it. I'm so fucking relieved, I mean, but it's just... God, really, just... This game, stop toying with my emotions like that, please. Oh my god, how did her fucking pulse come in? She was dead for like... At least ten minutes. Like, Jesus Christ. Huh? What did you just say? Nanako! Nanako-chan's alive? Are you serious? It's very rare to be resuscitated after one's heart and lungs fail, but it does happen. Oh my god. I... God damn it. Nanako, you were fucking awesome. Only you could defy death. You are the... God damn, she, she is the greatest fucking character ever in the world. She's oh my god, Nanako. I'm gonna give you the biggest bear hug when you wake up. But until I know why she collapsed in the first place, I can't say for sure how well she'll recover from here on. And then it's like, unfortunately she's gonna be in a coma for the rest of her. Fuck! <laughs> Not just kidding. Oh god. But no, she did But her father has a per tumor. Oh. No, I'm just kidding too. Oh, blah, blah. Stop it! <laughs> Stop doing this to me! Still, Nanako-chan's a fighter, and she's trying desperately to stay alive. So, so this isn't a joke? You're actually telling the truth? Nanako-chan... <laughs> oh my god! I... I... <laughs> this is amazing! Miracles do happen. I'm so glad. Oh no, seriously. I I didn't know what I was gonna do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on. Stop crying, you two. <laughs> you all should go home for the night. I'll speak with Dojima-san tomorrow about Nanako-chan's treatment. It's rather chilly outside. If it starts snowing, be careful not to catch a cold. So what have you ever fucking told Dojima? I don't, I don't want him fucking killing himself or some bullshit. If, that game pulls, if the game pulls another one of these fucking cards on me, I am gonna... I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go punch my neighbor in the face again. He hates it when I do that. Oh my God. Wait a second, where's Teddy? Oh my god, that really that really bummed me out, guys. Like I was really, really fucking sad. I, I didn't want to play this game anymore after that. <laughs> like it's just like, why? Why would you do that to me, game? Oh, I'm so glad though. Thank you, God. I noticed he didn't come with us when we went to Namatame's room. <laughs> You're right. That's weird. I figured he wouldn't move from Nanako-chan's side. Teddy, where did you go? Oh yeah, he has a cell with him. Wait, I shouldn't use mine inside the hospital. I'll try calling him up once we're outside. Nanako's fighting hard to survive. Just wait and believe that she will recover. Oh, there you are. God damn it, what do you want? Yeah, I forgot to tell you. Don't pull that again, okay? You can't just meet with the suspect like that. Anyway. I came to give you an update on Dojima-san. His wounds opened up a little, but he's treated now, and he's fast asleep. Thank you. He'll be all right. Don't worry. Knowing him, by this time tomorrow, he'll be on his feet and yelling at people again. Just make sure he fucking realizes Nanako's alive. Uh, don't tell him I said that. Shut up, Dodachi. Anyway, I heard Nanako-chan's on the road to recovery again. Yeah, you mean after dying? Yeah. You guys were being so dramatic that I got really worried. 
But this is good news. She'll be well again in no time. By the way, you're all alone at the house now, right? Well, enjoy your freedom while you can. Dojima-san and Anako-chan will be back soon after all. Yeah, I can't fucking wait. Fuck that. It's lonely at the house. Dodge is concerned for you. Alright. Hooray, I guess. I don't even care anymore. Well, I better head back. I'm gonna push you down some stairs if you don't get the fuck out of my face right now. You go home too, before it gets too late. Uh, see ya. God, I hate you so fucking much. <laughs> oh, God. Couldn't save. I couldn't save. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why? Mayumi. And that girl, too. I couldn't save them. Huh? Hey, what's the matter? Feeling guilty all of a sudden? Sheesh. <laughs> and he just goes right back to sleep. I can't reach him. Did that stupid bear forget to charge the battery? We took a quick look around the hospital, but there's no sign of him. I wonder where he went. Oh, it's snowing. Oh, it's snow. Hey, you're right. Wow, it's been a while since I last saw real snow. It doesn't look that pretty, though, because of this fog. I hope it's not ash or something. I guess this makes it the first snow of the year. <sighs> it's freezing. Let's go home. Hey, Yosuke, if you find Teddy, don't forget to contact us, all right? I know, I know. Let's meet up at the special headquarters tomorrow. Man, that Ted. I hope he just went back home by himself. He's probably fine. But I'll hurry home just in case. Well... See you tomorrow. Back in Nob's Howie's room, was it really the right to stop everyone from what the, we were about to do? For now, you have no way of knowing. God, I hope so. You remember that your cell phone has been off this entire time since you were at the hospital. Oh. So we know messages. Just go home before you catch cold. I hope so. I don't know. It does seem like it was a turning point, though, doesn't it? I'll make sure I save another new slot. Okay, well, I have been playing for ages now, so I gotta stop. <laughs> this game is very addicting, though, that's for sure. Oh my god, that really was... Oh, hey, look, it's our little Kotatsu we got. <sighs> I need to go fucking recover from this shit, too. Like, I, that was a fucking emotional roller coaster for me, so... Anyway, I like it for if you guys enjoy, subscribe now, help with the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the bits are always funny. Uh, anyway, till next time, guys, stay classy.